What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up a hundred times. All right, gather around. <clears throat> As the Stellar Blade controversy goes on, God damn. shit is getting serious, y'all. All right, your boy Grums done started a petition trying to get, you know, the whole free Stellar Blade thing going around. And, you know, shouts out to him. Me personally, in my personal opinion, I've never seen any of these like change.org or any of these petitions work when it comes to corporate America. You really think if you get a hundred thousand signatures on this on this dang on thing that Sony's gonna turn around what they're doing? Absolutely fucking not. No way. No way. And and, and so let's get into let's dive into this this whole conversation about censorship. You know, I, I see a lot of a lot of weirdos going around talking shit, talking about some oh, these guys are weird. They're complaining about one little outfit, this one little change. Bitch, it's not about the one little change. It's about the fact that it was advertised as uncensored all countries. Okay. Okay. You can see where they got community noted right here. Stellar Blade put the offers the same uncensored version in all countries, including the Japanese version. Uncensored all countries. The director of Stellar Blade addresses the censorship uh himself on a video the game is indeed censored when patched when patched ladies and gentlemen now uh eric july was on the show on saturday night hypnosis this saturday and he brought up the uh um the idea that they could technically have a point if they released the same version to all countries they might consider that to be the uncensored version i hear that i'm still calling bullshit i'm still calling bullshit so i don't know guys but let me tell you something shit and got serious Look at this bullshit here. Look at this bullshit here. This guy, Tone Man, 20K to anyone that can make this dipshit disappear. Whoa. Man. <laughs> shit, they got serious. Wow. When, so when you see those, when you see those thumbnails, when people like Yellow Flash and you know uh, uh, Ryan Cannell uh, uh, um, say things like "they want you dead," man, they dead ass serious. They are dead ass serious. So before we get into it, guys, uh, we are well on our way to nine thousand subscribers. We're trying to get to ten k by the end of the year. But hey, let's you know it's the it's the twenty eighth. Uh, uh, I want to see if we can get we can get the nine thousand subscribers before the end of the first week of may let's try let's try to get there so so we aren't we well on our way so hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so we fighting this this you know this culture war together this pop culture war together and also gamergate we fighting this shit together you know what i'm saying so um and also if you haven't already consider becoming a channel member uh become a shadow band be a part of the shadow band army you know what i'm saying become a ninja and all of that also follow me on twitter uh, we had a blast in the Discord uh, watching Invincible and Shogun this weekend. We'll continue next weekend. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, guys. Dude put 20K on Grum. We talking nasty work. Nasty business. God damn. Okay. You, you what? You what? This man in public put up 20000 a twenty thousand dollar bounty on Grump, and here's the thing: there's a moron on on Twitter willing to put this out. Think about how many people are doing this behind closed doors in the game. Y'all don't think the gaming industry is nasty work? It ain't just hip hop. Yeah, in hip hop, they stupid enough to put twenty k on your head and rap about it and put it in. But think about what they're doing in the in, in the in the industry where niggas is not dumb enough to do that. You don't think they doing that for real? Didn't somebody wind up deleted in that Activision Pro? Yeah, some woman wound up dead or something like that. Guys, if you don't think this is happening in the gaming industry, if you don't think that's why I'm saying every time I, every time Grums tweet out, every time something go viral because of Grums, he really need to watch his back. This is serious. 
This is absolutely serious. And you got morons like Mighty Key. Grums is a huge weirdo, but this type of behavior is wet, mad, whack. Don't threaten people's lives. What the fuck is you talking about? You the, the, don't threaten people's lives. You call him a weirdo. Do you know? See, this is the thing. This is what I don't like about today's culture. We, words mean things, guys. You call me a weirdo? What? What the fuck? Do you know out there, out there in California, you call certain dudes a weirdo? You might not see the the light of day after that. Weirdo is a really offensive term in a lot of places. You call me a weirdo, I might, I might fuck around and bitch slap you. I ain't gonna hold you. Because when you say weirdo, you like you you gotta understand like weirdo is a term that's tied to a lot of things, including, you know, the spicification of kids. And, and <laughs> shout out to the quarter. Weirdo is tied to a lot of things. So to call somebody a weirdo, I don't know, dog. I, I, you call me a weirdo in a serious tone like this, I would slap the dog piss out of you. Me personally. Me personally. You hear what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, yeah, man, putting a bounty. Guys, like, think about it. That's why I told y'all this is war, man. It's really war. Like, y'all think I'm being hyperbolic when I say that. This is why. This is why it's important for you. Your favorite content creators, like Hypnotic, like Neurotic Bars, uh, like Ryan Cannell, like uh, uh, Ari July, like everybody who's calling this this shit out, you got to support them financially. Like all of the money that you would have spent at the theater, you got to put it. You got to put it in the hands of Neurotic. All of the all of the money that you would have spent on that video game that you didn't buy because of the, all of the bullshit in it, you got to send it to people like Grums. You know what I'm saying? Because we we could get canceled at any moment, guys. Can, can, get, getting canceled is the is the is the least of our problems. Niggas is putting out 20k bounties. You don't think he meant that? A 20k bounty, guys. Like I said on Saturday night, hypnosis is niggas in the hip hop industry killing for Louis belts and Balenciagas. You don't think some desperate idiot might might not come out here and walk up to Grums and and poke him with a knife for 20 k? I'm. They'll make it look like a drive by. Is 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 just that easy? It's just that easy. They'll make it look like a drive by. You don't. And then and to think, you know. You know, he's starting this petition for people to cancel their PS Plus and to sign this, peti this uh, petition. If Sony feel like Grums is costing them money, oh, they'll, they'll make something happen. It might not be that extreme, but come on now. Power is a, power is a hell of a drug. Power is a hell of a drug, man. I mean, like, th th this is... This is wild. So this is why y'all got to stay vigilant. Continue to fight this war. Um, Boy, this is crazy. You put 20K on a man's head on, 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 on publicly on Twitter? Are you, out, are you out of your mind? Wow. I, I, I'm lost for words, really, honestly speaking. And, and uh, Mighty Keith is a moron. He's a clown. There's it's no, it's nothing else you can say about him. Uh. You know, he's getting called out all over Twitter. I was going to make another video about him, but I, I really don't want to, like, continue to grift on this dude's name. He's a moron. He's a prime example of why if you're going to be an entertainer, right, you need to keep your politics up out of it. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you.